Good day, guys. You welcome back. This is another episode of Niyi DIY, and today we're gonna do the replacement of our model mount. I mean, yeah, model mount of 2012 Toyota Camry XLE. When I drive, I notice some clunking noise, and I decided to go and back on the project. So the project is kind of comprehensive, but this part of the project is a replacement of the model mount. I will replacing this model mount and situated underneath the hood right next to the model. It's called the uh, it looks like a bone. And to replace it, we're gonna take out these screws, which I already took out. This and this and this. This anchors the model mount to the frame of the body. And also this, this anchors the model mount to the model. To do this, you need a 14 millimeter socket. You put it there, you set it to unlock, I mean, unscrew. You unscrew it out. Two number on this side. You take it out and keep it to the side. One, two. Then you come to this side too. You take this out, the 14 millimeter. You remove it out and you take it to the side and then you have this other one 14 millimeter you adjust your wrench if you need a, a wrench extender so that you can get the socket there or if you don't need it so you can pass through these ABS uh, lines or if you don't need them you take it out you unscrew the bolt See the plate, the plate to hold it in place is off. Once you're able to wiggle that out, you might take it out like that. Or since we already took out this one from the frame, you pull it out, you gently and neatly remove the whole unit, and that's it. And then you do physical inspection. Take this bolt, put to the side also, and then this this plate. Waste plate, uh, physical inspection to see what the likely problem could be since we've been since I said the complaint is uh, hearing some clunky noise. If you look closely, you see this bushing is torn on this side. There's a deformation of this bushing, not deformation really. It's being ripped. It's ripped apart. And take a screwdriver and also see the extent of damage which will be able to let you get a deeper understanding why you've been hearing that clunky noise you see it's practically torn he has a big uh, uh, tear right there and looking at the other side too the surface looks rotten it looks cracked visible signs of crack on there and also for this distortion yeah, this side also is torn, just like that side. So right there, that tells you what the problem could be, is. You can look the other side too. Just right off the back, you can see this one right here, it's torn. And also, look at the other side, this right here is also torn. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is the culprit. That is was responsible for the clunky noise, especially for the model. Or uh, once it's moving under motion and vibrating, it's been making those noises. So with that, we have no option but to replace this old unit. Just looking at one side without looking at the other side, that's enough to replace the old unit. Uh, looking at this side, just for the sake of looking. This seem like coming off on this side, uh, and it looks torn on this side too. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a, that's a problem right there. This unit is no good. We take it out, and get a new one. God being so good, I got a new one. Look at that. 
You know, I know how they do these side by side comparisons. Just to see the extent of the distortion or deformation or crack evident on the device. You look at it side by side. You see the crack on here? You don't see the crack on here. There's crack here. There's no crack here. Alright. So that's on that side. You flip it over to the other side and check for visible signs of tears or wear. Look at that. Right off the bat. Without even doing going into all the details to check for any type of doing further inspections. Look at this also. Stone is stone and it's still intact. And then we we'll flip it to this side to check the other end. This looks loose. This still looks intact. Flip it to the other side. And do a physical inspection. This looks loose, tearing, coming out. This still looks intact. So right there, ladies and gentlemen, we were able to diagnose and see what the problem is. And so, without much ado, we're going to go in and do a replacement. The old one is out, the old unit is out, we're going to put the new unit in. Before we go ahead, kind of click the like button, leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, me, DIY. And today, we're doing the engine mount replacement of a 2012 Toyota Camry XLE. Keep watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying so far. Hope you're learning something new. Keep watching. Thanks. Keep watching. Put the new unit in. Same, it's kind of uh, tight. It can't fit in easily. I just take an expander, a clamp. Just expand that so you could slide in gently. Alright, yeah, guys. So I was able to use a pry bar. Just pry it open. And I just slide it in. That's it. Now the hole out there. And then we'll put every other part, couple it back up. Make sure it's centered. That's it for that. We got this. Put it on there. And then you get the bolt. Just straight through. I think it's the longer bolt. Or all the bolts we got here. So to follow the right sequence, I have to take this out. Then put the bolt with the plate right through the bushing of the motor mount slid it in and then i slid this back in and i put the bolt in there to anchor it i have to do it like that because i don't want to damage these low hoses or linings so just to give you an fyi right there when you're working on this make sure you exercise extreme care you're trying to solve a problem or create another one so you gotta make sure you follow the procedure as it ought to be. So let's start by putting this one back, put the long bow in, and then we we'll get the second bow. Put the bow in too. And that's right there. And then the next thing, just take your wrench, set it to lock in place, lock it, and then you just wrench away. It might be long, but you know what I mean. Just keep wrenching to ensure you get it all done. Now 
don't put too much force on it because we don't want to break the trailer. So I've been able to make sure that three of the four bolts are tightly in place. The next one is this one, which is the side bolt that grows from the plate right through the mount to the model. Keep watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. So we do this on uh, the bolt. We tighten it. Make sure it's tightened. Because you know the model is moving, a lot of vibration is gonna be happening. The internal components are moving, not the model itself, but it's gonna be vibrating as a function of that. It's feeling any motion. So that looks like enough. And once we do that, that's the last, that's the final thing you have to do to replace the model mount. Alright guys, I hope you're able to enjoy and learn from this video. Can you click the like button, leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Nee DIY. And right now, we did the replacement. Of a model mount of a 2012 Toyota Camry 2.5 liter engine. Alright guys, click the like button, leave a comment, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. See you, see you in the next one. See you in the next one. This is your boy, Nii DIY. Thanks for watching the videos. Call your friends, your families, enemies. Call everybody. Come watch. 1 million views, 1 million subscribers. Minimum. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye for now. This is your boy, Nii DIY. Bye. Peace.